to Emotional Mojo. You know, if you tend to be a wallflower, you're probably wondering how in the world you're gonna get through the holiday season parties. Well, our next guest can take you from introvert to influencer. Welcome, Charisma Coach, Mary Gardner. Welcome back. Oh, thanks, it's good to see you guys. This is a here. great segment this time of year. There's, I mean, parties at work, there's That's parties right. at your mm -hmm. friends' homes, mm -hmm. and if you're shy, it is a good source of stress. Nobody wants to be a wallflower, right? But I think we have a fear of drawing attention to ourselves because nobody wants to end up like this. Want me to, you want me to get it started? I'll get yeah. it started. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, they say 15% of companies report that people actually end up like that at holiday parties, Ooh. drinking too much and uh, trying yeah, to cope. Trying to cope, exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of. You don't want to come out yeah. of your shell, but you don't want well, to embarrass yourself. Well, it's a really great time. Holiday parties are a great time to really increase your influence if you are a professional and want mm -hmm. to, you know, get to know people. And if you're networking for jobs or things like that, it's a great opportunity because everybody is social. Everybody's mm -hmm. going to go out. Mm -hmm. It's also the biggest time of the year that can ruin your professional reputation. So you've got to be very, very careful. Well, yeah. There's got to be so, a solution to this. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, when you're going out, I mean, you really have to prepare, and especially the holiday parties. I mean, a lot of people, you have to, to dress right. A lot of people make inappropriate choices, you know, yes. for clothing. That's something. And then, uh, and prepare before you go out. Really take time to look at the news to see what's going on in the I've news. I've heard so you, that before. You know. that it'll give you, so if you're if you're there talking to someone, you're like, oh, what should we talk about? You, are, you have something in your back pocket to, like, talk about. Exactly. People are very comfortable talking about their job, but... Mm -hmm when they get into a social environment, mm -hmm. they have no clue. So I give people a formula, F-O-R-M, family, occupation, recreation, message. Talk about other things, what's ever obvious, yeah, yeah. where you are, how do you know the people here, are you having fun? You know, and I think mm -hmm. this is a great tip for the spouse or significant other oh, yeah. going That's to that holiday point. party, because yes. you know nobody, and That's everybody right. else knows each other really well, because they work together, and you're like, hi, I feel like an idiot. Form, you know? form, right, exactly. form, 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 right. <laughs> Okay, here's my question, though. When okay. it comes time to start talking work, how do you do that naturally? Because a lot of people don't want to talk about work at parties. You're right? exactly how do you right. Trick them? Well, <laughs> how do you trick them? You kind of have to do that softly because okay. you're right. Some people don't, and you throw it out there. So tell me what you do. Do you love it? Tell me, oh, that sounds interesting. The one thing that a lot of introverts forget to do is to interact and act enthusiastic when you ask a question. Mm -hmm. So if you zero in on somebody and give them that eye contact and say, oh my gosh, you're fascinating. And if you focus on the other person instead of that, yourself, it doesn't really matter yeah, what you that talk is to. A great Yes. And I know Excellent. people talk about first impressions a lot, right? So you only get a few seconds to make a good first impression. Exactly. What are your tips? We've seen this movie, 50 First Dates. He gets to do it over and over again. Yeah, you exactly. don't get that luxury. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. First impression does just take a couple of seconds to, you know, it, but it takes two, five, about two and a half to five hours to overcome a bad first impression. Ooh. So it's really important wow. that you do. If you're looking to have some confidence, I'll tell you one of the things that people do is that you, uh, if you're a shy person, practice body language language, looking at yourself in the mirror, they have proven through studies that if you sit or stand with your arms over we your hands, this. We yes, know right? this. you actually can feel better. You can feel yeah. stronger. You so trick you, yourself. You do. Yeah. You actually do. It creates endorphins in your brain. Also, if you're not happy, you know, put that smile on your face and you physically can change yourself. In other so. words, you fake it until you make it. You do. Yeah, it actually works. It actually that, works. Yeah. 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 That, but I love your tip about focusing on the other person yes. because, you know, you might be so shy yourself, but when you start asking someone else That's about right. them. Yeah. You can you just sit back and listen. You don't have right. to worry about well, it. Well, if you think about where shy people, who they are focusing in on, they're focusing in on themselves. So shy is different from introvert. An introvert is a person that gets energy from themselves and being pri private and quiet. Extrovert is a person that gets, you know, energy from other hmm. people. But mm -hmm. yes, to focus on other people instead of themselves, they will be more successful at parties. Now, do you have any don'ts to do at a party? Like, yeah. it's not the time to ask your boss yes. for the promotion. That's like, right. at the that's exactly right. Uh, it's a time where people actually drink too much. Um, mm -hmm. They say that, you know, the max should yeah. be two drinks 
completely, that's it. And um, and then you want to dress collect correctly, like I said. And then also be very appropriate with your behavior. Yeah. A lot of people actually, you know, they have crushes on people at the office. Don't go daily. Yeah. Mistletoe. No mistletoe. Yes, yes. Um, and that goes for your spouse too. There's a lot of inappropriate behavior that happens. And so knowing that you're going into that environment in every social environment, alcohol does tend to make people a little bit more, I, right. you know. Yeah, I do have a question because you talked about appropriate dress and typically mm -hmm. a holiday party is like a cocktail party yes, and it's, so not then work. it's not work so then that does changes the game a little bit what do you suggest yes, especially yes. for us women if we're going to wear a cocktail dress what's appropriate well it, let's face it we all know what's appropriate you don't want to show too much <laughs> of anything <laughs> uh, you know the thing that women have if they're low wearing something low cut mm -hmm. most people so are like or oh high high or high cut you know <laughs> and that that's it for men it's you know then that's what's being paid and it's rude for everybody else there because then everyone zeroes in on that one particular body part and mm -hmm. that's really uncomfortable for the other women. So okay. it's really, I think, uh, personally, I think it's a bullying technique for other, you know, towards other women. But, awesome. you know. Yeah. Good so. stuff. <laughs> thank you so much, Charisma Coach Mary Gardner. Thank you. And what do you got here? This is her DVD set awesome. from Introvert to Influencer. Love it. So make sure you guys check that out. Thank you so much. MaryGardner.com. Thank right. you very much.